Okay, in this video we're going to be checking out the V-Fly Finder. This is a one of those lost mile alarms that you can kind of move around from drone to drone if you want. It has, comes with this little connector here and it has its own battery so that if your battery is ejected uh, and you crash, uh, this as long as this is somewhere around your drone, it will detect that it's lost power and it will then arm and then after about 30 seconds you get a very loud, a loud alarm from this pretty big buzzer here. Um, and that's the thing about this, uh, that's the main feature of this is that if your battery is ejected, this has its own battery and uh, won't lose power and you can, it will uh, alarm and then you can then find your drone in case the battery is ejected. Now when you look at this buzzer compared to some other ones out there, this one here is a micro-sized buzzer on a lot of, I use on a lot of micros. And it's, you know, it's a decent, it's decently loud. I can hear it within about 20 meters or so. This one's quite a bit louder because it is a lot bigger. You can see here. It says it's about, I think, 105 decibels. I don't know what the micro-sized one is. Um, and I tried, I did try to do a, a distance test where, uh, I could not hear this one, but I still could hear the, this one here, the bigger one. Uh, but it didn't really come out too well on the microphone or the camera, so I just kind of threw away that video. So just letting you know that, uh, yeah, it's hard to prove it in, on, on camera with microphones, but the, uh, this buzzer is quite a bit louder than this one. I wouldn't say it's like twice as loud, maybe about 50% as loud, so you should be able to hear it at a further distance away than these smaller ones. Now the downside, of course, is that this is pretty big, so I uh, wasn't able to put this into any, one, any of my micros, so that's kind of a downside. I know my micros had space for something this large. Um, I often don't even use the buzzers because uh, space is an issue in the micros, but for the bigger 5-inch drones, it's not a problem. And I actually soldered on one of these connectors to this 5-inch drone. And you can see that uh, this connector here is just a one millimeter pitch connector. So if you have a bunch of these lying around, you can have a bunch of these connected up to your uh, buzzer pads on your drone. And then you can actually move this around from drone to drone. So you don't have to actually buy a whole bunch of these. And in terms of wiring, the instructions do show there's two types of wiring that you need to be aware of uh, for the three wires, uh, flight controller type A and B. And then one's gonna have a buzzer plus and minus and then some of them don't have that, only they'll have a buzzer minus. In that case, you're going to wire up the uh, red wire to the 5 volt instead of the buzzer plus. So that's pretty much the only difference in terms of wiring. Uh, otherwise, you would wire it the same way as any other buzzer. Uh, here's just a look at the buzzer itself. Um, obviously, they labeled the connector and the button. And this button also acts as a disarm button. And I'll show you that. It's kind of important because uh, obviously when you land and you disconnect your battery, it won't be able to know that, well, it, it can't tell the difference between that and a crash. So if you just, if you just unplug the battery, it'll go, it'll arm itself and then within 30 seconds it'll, it'll actually start the alarm. So you can either disarm it by pressing the button for one to five seconds and then you hear three beeps, three quick beeps, and then you'll know it's disarmed. Or you can actually plug in your main LiPo for you basically you unplug it, this thing will arm, and then you replug in your main flight battery for three to six seconds, and then it'll disarm, and then you can go ahead and unplug your main flight battery. So that's the second alternative way of disarming this uh, alarm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and just kind of give you a demo of the sound difference. Um, it doesn't really come out too well on the camera, but at least I'll try it, uh, this uh, the, the VI Fly finder, and then also uh, like a regular buzzer on this uh, my other micro over here. Okay, and you get an idea of how loud that is, I'll go ahead and activate the buzzer. And then if you disconnect the main flight battery, it'll detect that it's been disconnected and you get a, a a beep that's a little bit well not quite as loud. It's about I would say about a quarter of the volume. And then it's gonna it's basically in like arming mode, and so you got to either Plug in the battery again, or you just, all you have to do is press this button here. And if this button isn't reachable inside your drone, it's just easier just to replug in the flight battery. And 
and then unplug. Okay, so it looks like it's still armed. It's still uh, beeping, so I'm gonna try that one more time. There we go, so we heard three more beeps there and no more beeping. So I think the first time I did it, I, I plugged it in a little bit too long. It did say in the instructions three to six seconds, but uh, maybe if you go more than three seconds, it it actually uh, thinks that you're plugging in again and doesn't disarm. But I think the, you know, obviously if the button's easily accessible, pressing and holding the button would be the easiest way to do it. Let me just show you that really quick. Plug it, and then you just press this button for one to five seconds. Okay, so you have to press the button and then let it go, and then it'll actually give you three tones that it's been disarmed. So if, if you just hold the button and don't let it go, then it doesn't actually disarm. You have to actually hold the button for one to five seconds and then let it go. And then at that point, it will disarm the alarm. Oh, and one more thing that I forgot to mention is that when you're, when this is plugged into the flight battery, it actually charges the onboard battery here from the flight battery. Uh, and you can see it was green, so the battery is, is fully charged. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in this uh, micro here. This is a Diatone GTM 2.5. And it's got a you know, standard micro size buzzer. You can't really see it. It's kind of buried in there. But you get to hear this for comparison. Yeah, I'll go ahead and trigger the beeper. So that's what that's what the micro beeper sounds like. So it is in it is pretty loud, but it's not quite as loud as the the VI uh, Fly Finder, so, you know, like I said, maybe 50% louder, and it, you can tell the difference more at distance, but even though I could hear it, the camera wouldn't pick it up, so, just have to take my word on that one. Anyway, so if you ever lost a drone before because uh, your battery got ejected and, you're, and you couldn't uh, trigger your buzzer, uh, you guys should check out this uh, particular uh, lost the model alarm because the battery in here will allow you to find your model in case the battery is ejected. I think uh, for the cost of, well, I think this is about 12 or 15 dollars somewhere in there, um, it's a hell, a hell of a lot cheaper than uh, losing the cost of a drone which costs hundreds of dollars. So, And uh, I like the fact that it has a little connector there and you can move it around from drone to drone. So you only really need to buy one of these and you only use them in specific situations where you feel like you are in an area that you might lose your drone or uh, might have been a place where it might be hard to find. So this might be really invaluable in that case. Anyway, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.